707, your time in residence in the Deep South. Just a horrible situation. You're waking up to this damage left behind by deadly storm systems that produced twisters yesterday and into today. Officials say parts of Alabama hit the hardest. At least five people were killed overnight. Kayla Fish in the Breaking News Center this morning with new details on the storm and also reaction from residents. Hey, good morning. Well, authorities say a large tornado tore through a portion of the metro Atlanta area around midnight. There are early reports of downed trees and wires as well as gas leaks, and this is part of the same storm system that left at least five dead in Alabama. Tornado sirens and howling winds, just some of the sounds residents in parts of the south heard last night into early this morning. Authorities say multiple twisters created by a supercell of storms. One Alabama man heard the sirens, grabbed his grandkids, and headed to a storm shelter. He told one of our sister stations down south that he's experienced storms like this before. This little area right here is, I, I, I'm 59 years old, and I've seen seven tornadoes myself with my own eyes come through this area. Uh, they don't call it Tornado Alley for nothing. <laughs> Now, those storms also impacting areas of Tennessee, Kentucky, and the Carolinas. Coming up later this morning, we're going to be taking a closer look at the damage left behind in Alabama, as well as the message that authorities there are sending to the victims. For now, live in the Breaking News Center, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. It's now on the next. Uh the rather the latest round of deadly storms occurring down south. I mean, it, it's been a bad situation down there. At least five people were killed as a number of tornadoes were tearing through Alabama and parts of Georgia as well. Kayla Fish is joining us from the Breaking News Center with an update this morning. Kayla? Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, the tornado season in the south is now well underway, and the latest batch of storms leaving a path of deadly destruction. Take a look at the damage left behind in Shelby County, Alabama, and that's near Birmingham. Some homes destroyed, while others were barely touched. New this morning, the cleanup now underway across Alabama and parts of Georgia, as authorities say a supercell of storms produced a number of twisters, one traveling roughly 100 miles. Miles. Officials say a tornado cut a diagonal path through Calhoun County, killing five people there. And the sheriff said the storm struck mostly rural areas. But for those impacted, it's changed their lives forever. Five people lost their lives, and for those families, it'll never be the same. And, and our heart, our thoughts, and our prayers go to those families, and we're going to do our best to let them know we love them. Tens of thousands without power this morning, others under flash flood watches and warnings through several states in the south. The severe weather forcing First Lady Jill Biden to cancel a trip that she had originally planned to Alabama today. She wrote on Twitter, quote, my prayers are with the grieving families. Please stay safe. That's the latest here in the Breaking News Center. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.